Hello, I'm Daniel. In the amateur radio world, known as KE7UUM. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's talk about and show you how I use the Stanley Adventure all-in-one boil and brew French press coffee maker. <clears throat> this thing, um, as I've already showed you, stays in my EDC bag uh, pretty much all the time. Um, if I've just recently used it, I will sometimes, um, if I'm not able to dry it, I'll make sure and let it dry for a day maybe before it goes back in there but for me this is this is really handy 32 ounces and it's big enough inside for me to put a cup coffee and a sweetener I've already got my water hot from this today It was at 170. I don't probably cool down a little bit by now. That's okay though. And for me, oh, oh I'm gonna have to do this differently. I'm gonna grab a spoon. This is an eighth cup, eighth of a cup measuring, and um, I put four scoops. In my other press, I only use um. I only use two because it's only a 16 ounce and because I didn't grab anything to stir it with I will do this <laughs> it's not okay and I'll clean that off before I put that back you know <clears throat> I always thought it was a good idea to get that wet before you put this in but here's the here's the truth I am um, have done this a couple times when I'm storing it and it's completely dry I ha hope I haven't heard it. it seems to still work good I've had this for about six months um, April 18th or something like that is what the date says uh, when I got it from Amazon okay we're gonna pause for about three to five minutes and I'll be right back Okay, I didn't really keep track of the time 100%, but it's pretty close to three minutes. Um, now, because I wasn't able to stir this like I really wanted, like I really wanted to, um, 
and I didn't double check to make sure there was no ground up super high. But I've never so far had a problem with actually uh, having uh, grounds get in my coffee when I double check that they're not, you know, up the side of the the press. But I do have one of these <laughs> with me if ever need be. One thing I've really noticed about this cup over the six months or so of using this, not cup, this maker, coffee maker, is that um, you gotta make sure this thing is lined up and this the pour spout is in the center of the opening as, as much as possible. And when you're pouring, you don't pour too fast because I've made, I've spilt coffee and you know nobody likes coffee abuse, right? Yeah, that's still a little too hot. To, so, there you go. So, for me, I don't always wash this out with a um, with soap um, every time I use it, but I do give it a thorough rinse. I'll take my fingers and make sure there's no grounds that have got over the outside of the rubber seal on the lid. Then I'll just rinse it off and I'll do the same with this seal. Just rinse it off really well. That's what I do. Seems to work well. Make a couple last points before this video goes too long and uh, I lose people's attention. Um, I, I came across this um, press after I bought my other one, my 16 ounce one. Um, with Long story short, I like that one because that one will keep stuff hot for um, quite a few hours and cold for a lot more hours. Um, but I was watching a camping video and the name of the video is Stanley Adventure All-in-One Boil Plus Brew French Press Coffee and Bread. That's the title of the video. It's um, on YouTube, and the guy's name or, um, is Roberts Bushcraft. That's the name of the channel, Roberts Bushcraft. And I'll put a link of that video in my description. But I've seen this, and they're actually breaking a little baking um, some bread in this 32-ounce coffee press obviously without the you know the normal stuff you'd put in it for the coffee but they just use it as an oven um this video i was like blown away so that's what this video is what inspired me to get this press maybe it's not important maybe nobody cares but um i want to thank um robert's bushcraft for uploading the video and it looks like it was uploaded February 9th, 2020. So that's how I came about this press. I really like the press. Um, there's lots of times that I will make coffee in it and I will do the full 32 ounces. And then I will take my other Stanley press and I will put half of it into there, puts a lid on it, keeps it warm for, you know, it says four hours. It actually keeps it for me warm enough for five, five and a half hours later. Um, I haven't actually tested a time by the minute, but so, um, and then I just drink the one I made and I, you know, rinse out my 32 ounce press. Anyways, that's about it. I am, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope somebody got something out of it. Hope you have a blessed afternoon, morning, day, whenever you watch this. Please, if you liked it, click on the like button, the thumbs up, um, and uh, subscribe. And if you subscribe and you want to get notifications, please click the bell. Hey, talk to you later.